Hello, this is Emma of Emma Live Yoga and welcome to the Sunset Relaxing Flow. So, you can see the sun is <laughs> behind me. We're going to practice to unwind from the day. So if you do need any extra support, I don't have anything with me, but if you do need some, please have them there, whether it's bricks, blocks, blankets, whatever you require. So coming to a comfortable seated position, however that looks for you. Bring the hands to Anjali Mudra and take a nice long inhale. Exhale, relax the shoulders. And gently close the eyes. We'll open the space for our practice with the vibration of Om, taking a breath in. So take in these moments of mindfulness to let go of the day. You may wish to set an intention for the evening. Maybe simply to relax, to unwind. <coughs> and then take a deeper breath in. And exhale, gently open the eyes. So from here, inhale, bring the fingertips down. Exhale, release the right ear towards the left, uh, right shoulder. And we're going to keep this moving. So inhale, carefully back to center. Exhale, left ear, left shoulder. Try to keep the shoulders uninvolved. Inhale to center, squeeze the pelvic floor. Exhale to left shoulder. And again. Inhale to center, exhale. Inhale to center, exhale. So from here, just change the cross of the legs. Inhale, glide the arms up, float the arms up. Exhale, twist to your right side. Keep it moving. Inhale as we enter the flow. Exhale to the left side. And again, inhale to lift. Exhale, belly muscles drawing in, inhale to lift, and exhale. From here, inhale to lift to center, exhale, circle the wrist down. From here, you can make your way through to an all fours position. We'll do a few rounds from here of cat and cow. Initially, you'll have a sway from side to side. So planting the hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. So now you can always bring the forearms down if you need to take the wrists out of the equation. And coming to center. On the inhale, belly dips, shoulders draw back, gaze lifts. On the exhale, round the back and sink all the way to the heels. Inhale, come forward, stay low, belly dips, gaze lifts. Exhale. Arch the back and sink back to wherever is best. It might not be all the way. Inhale, carefully coming through, feeling the flow. Exhale. So then inhale, make your way through, back to all fours, sneak the knees back. Exhale, take the hands towards the front of the mat as we come to Anahatasana. Inhale, hips are over the knees. Exhale, begin to sink the forehead down initially, possibly the chest. You can come up onto the fingertips if you wish. Or you can rest the forehead on some support and breathing into the heart space. Using the fingertips just activates the shoulders a bit more, gives you a bit more control. So feel free to bring the hands down. Then from here, bring the hands down. Inhale, drop the hips to the floor. Exhale as we emerge in sphinx, take the arms forward. Initially, just soften into the shoulder girdle, kind of slump, and then squeeze the pelvic floor, inhale, and lift the chest. As you press into the elbows, draw the elbows back. And again, you can lift onto the fingertips if you wish. Inhale, soften the glutes, make sure you're not squeezing. Exhale, glide the head to look over the left shoulder. Inhale to center. Exhale, glide into the right. Doing this once more. Inhaling. Exhaling. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, come to center. Exhale, soften neck down. Bring the hands underneath the shoulders. 
Inhale, engage Mother Banga. Exhale, transition carefully back into Utita Balasana, extend the child. Pause here for a few breaths. Soften around the shoulders. Really focus on the rhythms of the breath. And I know you can stay here. Or you can press the elbows down, hinge at the elbows, and bring the palms of the hands into Anjali Mudra at the back of the neck. And this just gives the upper arms a gentle stretch. If you want to make it a bit stronger, you can inch the elbows a little bit further forward. Settling in. We work with these energies of the sunset to relax, to release. And inhale. Release the hands down if you took that option. Walk the arms out. Exhale. Inhale as you come back to all fours position. Exhale, stretch the right leg back, tuck the toes under. Inhale to rock forward. Exhale to rock back. So just teasing out the calf tissue. Inhale, little rock forward. Exhale to rock back. Inhale, bring the right knee in. Exhale, extend the left heel. Inhale to rock forward. Exhale to rock back. Good. Inhale to rock forward, exhale to rock back. Inhale, bring that heel in. Exhale, sit back onto the heels in Varasana, or you can sit on some extra bricks between the heels and sitting bones, or you can come all the way down to seat fit, whatever suits your body. We're going to work into a lateral extension. Inhale, exhale, place the right hand down, and then inhale, swoosh the left arm across. Exhale, I'm just breathing into that left side of the body. You can look down, that's relaxing. You can look straight ahead or you can look up to the fingertips. See what works for you. I'm taking the middle path today. This evening, drawing the shoulders down away from the ears. Might do a little twizzle through the top wrist. That's it. And then inhale, bring it back up. Exhale, we change sides. Just gently squeeze the knees towards each other, stabilize the lower body, good. Inhale, exhale, place the left hand down. Inhale, swoosh the right arm across, draw the shoulders down. Exhale, breathing into that right side. And feeling tensions from the day begin to melt away. Feeling the healing quality of the breath following this thread around the body. And then swing the arm down, inhale to center. And from here, on the exhale, you can easily fold into a full child pose. Bring the arms by the feet, relax the shoulders, support the head as you need to, come higher up as you need to. Close the eyes wherever you are. Taking these few moments of surrender so we can emerge into your evening, feeling stretched, relaxed, connected to the breath. And then bring the hands underneath the shoulders. Inhale to press back up. Exhale. From here, press the hands forward. You can cross with the ankles or come to seated your way. And then stretch the legs out into a dandasana. Inhale, exhale, twist to the left side. So right arm just goes gently over, fingertips of the left hand behind. You can point the toes just to release the ankles. Just an easy spinal twist. Good. And look over the shoulder if you wish. And then inhale, lift the arms up to center. Exhale to the right side. Same again. Sitting tall out of the sitting bones. Then inhale as you lift to center. This time, draw the toes back. Exhale, hinge from the hips. Keep the back nice and long. Bring the fingertips down for Paschimottanasana. And just feel, begin to hinge forward, keeping the spine long. When you can hinge no more, you might begin to fold down, maybe let go of the head. If you find that this is too much for your hamstrings, just bend your knees, bring your head heels in and just feel that lovely relaxation 
through the back of the body. You can always sneak something underneath your knees. Few easy breaths. Nice and steady. And then squeeze the pelvic floor, inhale to bring it up. Exhale, lean all the way down, bring the soles of the feet together for Supta Baddha Konasana. Knees go wide, a hand on the belly, a hand on the heart space. If this is too much, just slide the legs out or bring the feet to the floor. Take a few moments to release through the hips. As we close this sunset, relaxing flow. Maybe thinking of something you're grateful for in this moment. And then inhale, gather the knees in, give yourself a self-hug, let's squeeze, have a rock, and then roll over to one side, pressing yourself up to your comfortable seated. And sitting tall, lengthening the spine, bring the hands to Anjali. Take a breath in, exhale, gently bow the head as we give thanks for our health and our practice. And inhale to lift the prayer hands up, exhale to center, namaste. So hoping you have a really relaxing, chilled evening after this practice. If you do like this outfit that I'm wearing, this is from Speltbell, a beautiful collection, so comfy. Uh, you do receive a big discount from this range, or the entire range. Uh, just check out the link below and have a great evening.